Hi, welcome to this video, hope you find it helpful. This video is about one of the basic topics which everyone should know. If you have an Excel or a text file and you want to import it to ArcGIS, this video will help you. Let's see how we can do this. Here we have a text file which contains different data. So we open it. Three columns are visible. The existed columns relate to X and Y in class type which is 0 or 1. Some data have a Z column which is the elevation column. Then we go to the ArcGIS software. And by using a data, we add the text file which is in text format. Our three columns can be seen here as well. To display the data, we need to introduce X and Y to the software. For this purpose, we right click on the layer and select the display XY data option. Then specify X and Y. Since there is no height in our file, the Z field option remains empty. And finally we click on OK. Since our data is not height data, and the data has been separated based on 0 and 1 classes, all points are visible uniformly. To better display the layer, we need to perform interpolation. So we search for the IDW command in the search section of the software. And select our layer. The second option is Z field, so we introduce our classes instead of height. Our classes were determined and categorized. The number of classes can be increased or decreased for better specification. And also choose the color of the classes to show them in a better appearance. As you saw, we easily imported the text files to ArcGIS. In the second step, we import our data from Excel to ArcGIS. Here we create a new Excel file. And using the open command, we go to the desired path and select the text file. Click the next option. In the second part, it displays Excel columns, and also what format should the column headings be based on.
All data has been imported to Excel correctly. Then we save the Excel file. Saving should be in CSV, comma delimited, format. Here you can see the Excel in CSV format. We go to the software again. Like the text file we import the Excel layer using a data. To display the data, we need to introduce X and Y. For this purpose, we right-click on the desired layer, then select the Display XY Data option. We specify X and Y. Since there is no height in our file, the Z field option remains empty. And finally we click on OK. Since our data is not height data, and the data has been separated based on 0 and 1 classes, all points are visible uniformly. To better display of the layer, we need to perform interpolation. We search the IDW command. And select the desired layer. The second option is Z field, we introduce our classes instead of height. You can save the output in a specific path. Also, the output pixel size can be specified. the classification of classes was determined. The number of classes can be increased or decreased for better specification. And also choose the color of the classes to show in a better appearance. The difference is due to the pixel size of the results, which were reduced by half in the second output. 